Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikach, Kodash. Want to give double honors to the elders and apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believes in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all. Yeah, all praise to you. How about Shah? We're out again tonight on the highways and hedges. You know, um, just coming out of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, you know, the whole week of celebration uh, from the Passover. And it was, it was for me, bro, through the Spirit and Power, how about Shah? Shah, man, I. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I uh, I feel I feel I feel good. I feel different. I feel changed. I feel clean. You know, it's like almost coming off of a fast. That's how it feels. You know, and uh, so much so. Let me turn this uh, down a little bit. It seems a little hot. So much so that uh, down, down, down. Test, test, test. Okay. Um. Is this thing why is it going down? Anyway, yeah, so much so, bro. I don't want it to. Uh, I really don't want to. I want to. I want to continue in the practices of this week. Really, I want to. I want to continue to make the unleavened bread. You know, I want to continue to uh, to to watch my. You know, you know how we were doing it this week. It's like uh, it's all. It felt like a, a forever um, Sabbath day for for some. It, that's how I felt for me, man. You know, because uh, and through 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 this, you know, I uh, through the spirit, I became uh, more aware. You know, uh, trying to to the best of my ability, walk in the spirit even more. Um, really uh, taking care of my thoughts and uh, denying we 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 denied ourselves throughout this week. You know, uh, more you know because of the unleavened bread, no drinking of the beer and everything, and being all. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a. It was beautiful, bro. I, 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 like I said, man, I, I, Lord willing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see through the Spirit and the power. I'm gonna pray to the Lord and see if I can continue to practice that. Not trying to be over righteous or nothing, but or trying to go too far with it. I just know that I like where we are right now through the Spirit and the power. I like this feeling, you know, of uh, this comfort, uh, this hope, and and you know, doing things to please you. It feels good, you know, we're coming into this time of of the. The beginning of sorrows, you know, this wicked world and all these things that's coming upon the earth. You know, all these uh, unrighteous decrees by Esau, Edom, and the devil coming down, having great wrath. Uh, this talk of the, uh, you know, the martial law troops and everything. The uh, They got troops sitting out here getting ready for this uh, April 8th thing. You know, uh, I, saw, I just saw a post from a, from a, from a brother. Uh, in his little town, he said he saw the military. You know how they, you know how they do it on. You see them on the railroad tracks, and they got the the military. They're transporting military uh, vehicles from one place to another. You know because the trooper speaks about how, uh, uh, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen, man. With this, it's, maybe it's maybe it's a lockdown. Lord willing, it's a lot. You know, Lord, it's a lockdown, and the, the shit pop off because it's the hopeful year of Jacob trouble, baby. You know, and this is we're in it now. This is it. This is the year. The hopeful year, Jacob's trouble. The new year, you know, began to come in, came in with the, with this with the new Sabbath, starting that new month with the new year, bro. All praise to you, have Hashem, Hashem, for this understanding, for this truth. So this epistle, this live camp is based on basically divine intervention that we're gonna need in this time, bro. And that's why I was saying, you know, I, I like, you know, where we are in the spirit right now. You know, this uh, coming out of the feast of unleavened bread. All this week, we practiced, you know, watching ourselves. We practiced, uh, you know, putting putting certain things, denying ourselves in certain ways. And it's good, bro. I like it, bro. I'm serious. So we're gonna get into it. Oh, you know, of course, it starts with this with this word of truth. Like uh, I was watching the brothers, uh, uh, GMS feed the flock. And they were they were they were going into a lot of things, bro. They were they, were, they, they had a beautiful camp t today. Uh, but one of the things they were speaking about, I think it was was it them, right? One of the things they were speaking about was how, you know, um, with this word, this, the, the salvation begins with this word, with this mercy. That's what it is. Yeah, you know, like the scripture we bring out all the time. Let not mercy, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. It starts with this word of truth. You know, whom the world cannot receive, the Holy Spirit of truth, 
from the world cannot receive thee. They, they even give us the understanding to repent. To the who? To the one true living God. Not no false God and false idol, so-called name, JC. You know, to actually know who our enemies are, know what times we're living in, measure the time diligently within itself. These are spiritual blessings the Lord has blessed us within the last days, bro. So we're going to get into it. Lord willing, it's going to be edifying and exhorting. Once again, Yahweh Shema Shai got us out here being a spectacle, you know, coming out here, which is our reasonable service, to warn, to give them warning from me. Oh, also, while during their camp, there was this, um, there was this Jake that came up. This Jake came up and listened to their camp. You know, once again, GMS feed the flock. He was there for a, for a, for a good for a good while too, you know. And he was uh he was like sounding, like, man. He was you know they were talking to him and everything back and forth. And he said he man he sounded good. It sounded like he really understood what they were bringing out. He agreed with a lot of a lot of it, bro. You know, he was like when he when he would you know when. Sometimes he would, you know, try to mix a little Christianity in there or whatever, but they would, they would bring him up to speed. You know, uh, speaking about, uh, tell me, I pray thee, whoever prepares been born innocent, all these things. They brought out, brought out a little bit about reincarnation and we are our fathers, things like that, right? It was really, really good, bro. But one, that was one point of the, of the, uh, of the, of the, of the back and forth, where the, where the, where the man proclaimed that uh, he already knew about the Hebrew Israelites that he already you know explored the doctrine you know I don't know how in-depth he did but he he went on to say you know he he, he thinks it's beautiful what IUIC was doing marching up and down the street and shit like that you know and that's when he's talking about he started to reveal that he already he knew about the doctrine he knew about the Hebrew Israelites and I want to get a scripture on that because there's a point where he said he, he, you know, he's trying to mix that Christianity with it. Talking about some we on the grace. You know, he can still eat pork. You know, he's talking about, I, get, I, I eat a pork chop now and then. Why? Because the children of Israel are some stiff-necked ninjas. And at, at that point, what did I put up? What did I put on the comment board? Yeah, yeah, you, you stiff-necked and uncircumcised at heart. You know, you always resist the Holy Spirit, bro. That's how our people is, bro. Hold on one second. You know, you tell them, tell them what the, what you know, tell them what's really going on. You know, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Once again, let not mercy and grace, let not truth and mercy forsake thee. You know, uh, Proverbs chapter three verse five. You know, but they don't want to hear it. So I want to get this scripture started and get into the, uh, get into it. Okay, hold on one second. Let me put this, put a little incense right there. Uh, I want to get that Ezekiel chapter thirty-three verse thirty-three. Hold on one second. Put my little glasses on here. We're going to start at like 30, I think it's up at 30. Hold on, let me see. See, so, so, because he's talking about, he's, he, he, he thinks it's so beautiful that IUIC, you know, I'm watching up and down the street. But you know, IUIC, they go into the law heavy. And one of the laws, just plain and simple, we're not supposed to be eating crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster. But, oh no, let me, let me, let me not listen to that part. I don't want that part. Give me the give me the sweet words. Give me the good stuff. You know? This uh next phase and so-called come on, let's just read it, bro. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee. They're not with us. You know? You know, they're not, they're not on one accord. They don't, they don't have the same mind. They haven't repented. They're not calling on the true names of the Lord, Yahweh Jemasha. They're talking against us. You know, because he is, he, the scripture speaks about he that is not with me is against me. There's not, there's no two ways about it. Because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. You know? Also, thou son of man, the children of, of, of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother saying, come, come on, I pray you and hear what the word of the Lord, and hear the word that cometh forth from the Lord, yeah. By Shemashah, hey, let's come, let's go eavesdrop on them Israelites, see what they talking about, so we can make fun of them. You know, let's go listen to what they talking about, so we can, so we can scoff, so we can mock. We're not gonna really listen to them. Let's just see, hey, it's, it's entertainment. And they coming to thee as thy people cometh, right? Because they are the children of Israel. They are Israelites. 
but all Israel is not Israel, you know. And we talk, and, and and if they don't repent, they looked at as heathens any damn way. They coming to thee as thy people cometh. You know, you even got some of them that say they they know. Okay, I, I get it that we the Israelites. Yeah, I see. I can see that transatlantic slave trade, such and such, blah blah blah. You know. And they sit before thee as thy people. Yeah, we in the truth now. You know. Yeah, yeah, we we yeah we 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 listen. To the, we got the head wraps, we got the fringes, we, you know, we doing it. You know, but once again, all Israel is not Israel. We're talking about the Israel, those that walk according to this rule. There's a that's the elect of the elect. It says, and they sit before thee as thy people, and they hear, they hear thy words, but they will not do them. They hear the words, they, they ain't gonna do that. And who is my mother, my brother, my sister? Those that actually do the will of Yahweh Shema Shah, bro. That's why I, that's why I put that on that. That's why I said that, man. Ain't I playing around with y'all? Uh, ain't no telling, you know. That's why you got so many Jakes. Big brother elder bringing out all the time. So many Jakes, you know. They they come on the coming board and they say such and such. He go back and, and backtrack. How long they been on on YouTube or something? 2014 and shit. You know, got Hebrew names and shit, but ain't doing none of the work. And you still don't have no understanding. You still haven't repented. You're still watching all the Israelite camps and all the you know. That's why this is very precious. You know, to us. Having been called out of this darkness into this marvelous light, bro. And you know, as as we get closer, you know, I today I was like a very solemn. Still am. I was smiling to nothing today. You know. Throughout the week, yeah, of course, you know, might maybe crack a smile or a joke here and there or whatever. But these days, bro, I feel very solemn. Like, because we're coming up on them times, brothers and sisters. You know, just like how Shah went, you know, getting ready after the Passover, getting ready. To be persecuted and crucified, brothers and sisters. We're about to go through something. The scripture speaks about through much tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's not, it's not, you know, we, we, we're hoping. Not necessarily fearful like that. We fear you, how about Shemashah, and we're just praying and hoping to be a part of that number because we understand if we are covered by the blood of the Lamb, you know, that's what we're talking about, man. That's, that's all we want right now, that mercy. Let not that mercy and truth forsake thee, okay? So come on. And they come unto thee as thy people cometh, and they sit before thee as thy people, and they hear the, and they hear the words, but they would not do them. Right? Because, you know, the scriptures say, hey, give them warning from me. This is the way. Walk ye in it. But they would not do them. For, for with their mouth they show much love. Like we spoke about it. We the Hebrews. You know, black culture. You know, uh, hey. Uh, Hebrew Israelite fashion show. Hey, we got an Israelite party. Come on, y'all. Hey, they, they gathered a great, a great, a seemingly great army. All these, all these carnal things that they're talking about. But they have not been reborn. They have not seek the Lord's face. They're going out to establish their own righteousness in one way or the other. You know what the scripture speaks about? A wicked man will find an excuse. Let me let me see how this scripture go. A wicked man would not be reproved, but finding an excuse according to his will. Roughly paraphrasing. Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 32 in the Apocrypha, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved. You can't, hey. When they told him about the pork, did he change the subject? I can't remember. But that's, that's how most of the, you know. Because the scriptures say, uh, reprove a wise man, and he will love thee. Oh, thank you, brother. You know, because I remember when we heard the word of truth, we were like, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We were like, oh, we the Israelites, bro? Now it all makes sense. This is, it was like a, a, a like a, yeah. The people that sat in darkness have seen a great light. What? You know, uh, John chapter 3, verse 19, you know. This is, the, this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. But but the ones, 
you know, they come to the light, you know, so their deeds will be reproved, bro. It says a civil man will not be reproved, but find an excuse according to his will. Yeah, hey, we're on the grace. We're on the grace, man. We're great, great, great. The brothers so graciously brought out the understanding of what true grace is. You know, that Yahweh is the mediator, you know, the intercessor for our sins to cover the things that we fall short on. That doesn't mean that you can go around willfully going off. Sending like a, like a motherfucker like these damn heathens out here, like you were taught and raised to do in this wicked world. No. Hell. And they come unto thee as thy people cometh, and they sit before thee as thy people, as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart, their, their mind goeth after their covetousness. And that's why I was saying that, man. You know, we all fall short of the glory of Yahweh. We all just, just, just some filthy rags, sinful, sinful in, in this carnal flesh. We all need help. We all need that mercy. You know, that's why we are rehearsed the righteous acts. That's why, that's the beautiful understanding of not trying to be over righteous or trying to be over wicked. But also, do we make void the law? No, we establish the law. And you know, also doing things, making sure that we don't offend in less. That making sure that we don't do things that actually hurt our spirit. You know, let not your sins weigh you down, but not let your iniquities lift themselves up either. You know, being holy, being made separate, and doing the things that please you about Shema Shai, bro, it's a, it's a work. It's a growth, and it's, a, it's not easy. But like I said, this week was beautiful. It was beautiful, bro. Yes, it was a little, you know, it had its moments. But it was okay. It says, But their heart goes after their covetousness, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, and one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear the words, but they do not do them. But they do but but they do them not. And when this cometh this is the point right here. When this cometh to pass, because what what does Trevor tell us? At least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And when you repent, you don't just continue on in the doing, doing the same shit you did. You know, you put off that old man. The scripture telling us to be holy, be separate, touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. You know, you uh, you 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 you, you start walking. Hey, night. You start walking in a new that new man, bro. You walk in the spirit, bro. You do the things. You, we are our citizenship is in heaven. You know what I'm talking about, bro? We're not the same. We're not these people. We're not no mother. We're not no damn heathens and shit. We are the children of Israel, man. We're the Lord's chosen people, baby. We were the ones giving these laws and commandments. This, this is our heritage. Ain't nobody else heritage. They got their culture. You know what I'm saying? The, the Chinese people, they they do their thing. They got their little dragon uh, worshiping their false gods and idols and shit. They got their little dragon dance. You know, you seen them? You seen those guys? They got the big head uh, made out of paper mache and shit. Then they got the uh, the, the, the shit. You know, the, then another man back there and the one one guy does the head. Doom! Doom! All that shit, man. You know? Then the other guy back there. Ooh. And they be jump. They can jump all on on little obstacle courses and stuff. They got their little culture and their heritage and stuff. But over here in our captivity, Babylon the Great, aka America, these guys, you know, they gave us the slave Bible. Hey y'all, this 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 your heritage. Come come back over here. Look. Your your God is a cracker. You know? You know, that's what they gave us. He's a false god and false idol, so called named JC. You go over there and dig up them Easter eggs over there, boy. You know? Hey, celebrate this this uh this Ishtar on the sly. Celebrate all these pagan ass holidays and these other worship these other gods. But no, now this is the truth right here. You know, this is that true awake, the great awakening, us returning to the one true living God, returning to who we really are, bro. A true blessing. Don't hey, don't let mercy and don't let mercy and truth forsake thee. They all play around if you want. But at the end of the day, it's all about the elect. It's already preordained, it's predestinated, bro. We're just getting the blood off our hands, just talking about it, you know. Just uh, being washed and clean and baptized with the word of truth, reassuring ourselves, building up our, building up ourselves in this most holy faith, you know. Because what? Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this coming to pass, the spirit of prophecy, martial law, 
Concentration camps, famine of food, all this shit. World War Three, the dis Babylon the Great, the implementation of the MARK, the CHIP, nuclear destruction on on, Amer on the Babylon the Great, aka America. When this coming to pass, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. That's when they're gonna cry. Oh Lord, I lie, lie. No, 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 no. That's that's when they're gonna do it, bro. Let's go get that proverbs. That's when they gon' goddamn do it, motherfucker. And this the how this how the story goes, bro. A beautiful story, isn't it? And that's why I like that scripture. They're gonna let you because they're gonna know that I have loved thee. You know? The Lord has blessed us with this hundred percent truth in these last days. To let them know. They said that the heathen's gonna envy thee, but not gonna be able to do anything against thee when this shit hit the fan. We're talking about divine intervention over here. Okay? We're talking about the Lord lifted. We, that, we're talking about the power. That's what we're talking about right here, bro. And it's already started. Do with this Holy Spirit of truth. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones? You know, just, just uh, the, uh, 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 all this truth out here. You know, the, the knowledge of the Yahweh Shem is going to, it's filling the world right now. You know, as for faith, it shall flourish. It's, it's happening. I got this epistle, Lord willing to be able to do it about uh, the, Rus the Russian icons and everything. You know? How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Right, this, this, this word right here is not for no fools. This word right here is not for no uh, stiff neck. This word right here is only for the elect at this time right here. Okay? It says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. <laughs> the knowledge of Yahweh Shema Shai filling the earth. This gospel being preached on the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. It says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. These are the words, the true words of the Lord. What's that? Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. It says, uh, night. It says, uh, you know, don't don't beware at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit and traditions and rudiments of this world this wicked ass world with that damn Easter and all this bullshit Christmas all that shit Hey, worshiping of, of false idols and stuff. No, it's over It says because I have called and you refuse right you know the word out here to, to compel them to come in you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Week in, week out. To compel them to come in, bro. We, we the Lord chosen people. Hey, get in there. You know? Let me turn this a little bit. To compel them to come in. Get in there. Repent to the one true living God. Come back to your true heritage, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian. It says, where my glasses at? It says, because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set you have said it not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Hey, I wanna yeah, I'm so like yeah, I gotta do it, bro. I gotta use that guy. You know? Cause what what does Tripper say? Uh how's this trip go? All things are created for the good of them that love Yahweh Shimashah. All things are created for the good of them that love Yahweh Shimashah. So we gotta use these things. Just like that blind man. Master, why was this man born blind? So that the works of Yahweh Shemashah may be fulfilled in them. Why did that guy come up to that camp and declare that he, he know he know about the Hebrew Israelites. He saw the, uh, are you, I see them march out of the street. He done studied a little bit about the doctrine and everything. But yet and still, he refused to stop eating that damn pork and repent with his whole heart to the one true living God to seek his face. You know, just and you know, look at you're gonna equate that to to all these damn two thirds out here. They hear the words, but what what we just read in Ezekiel, they will not do them. Lo, to, lo, you are to them like a very lovely song. Oh man, oh man, it sounds so sweet. It looks so good to see y'all out there marching up and down the street. It see, see, it looks so good to see y'all standing up to the man. Damn. It says, I have called, 
Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24 and ye refuse I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded but ye have said it not all my counsel or would none of my reproof no correction at all this is the way walk ye in it this is what we do here's the Passover these are the Sabbath days this is the true name of the Lord the one true living God yeah how about you shot you know repent with your whole heart beg you know make that prayer before his face and offend less turn away from this wicked world get your house in order get ready to get the hell up out of here have faith but it that's a gift it says but ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproofs you know I keep having these people subscribe to the channel and a few days later they gone so they subtracted somewhere the numbers keep going up and down and shit like that it could be Esau but you know just people coming through and uh, oh man you know one of them one of those uh, epistles that uh Cause you know we don't do clickbait epistles, but some of our epistles are, you know, they could be entertaining in a in a certain aspect. It could be uh, some kind of riveting or so. Oh, I thought about that. Some of sometimes the the epistles are like uh, good night. Sometimes the epistles are uh, what do you call it? Controversial. Oh motherfucker, these motherfuckers love a controversy. Woo! These motherfuckers love a gossip. These motherfucking niggas. Boy, they love some some shit talking. They love some cursing out sometimes. It's like, wow, that's a mighty powerful sermon, Reverend. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so they might they might click on some shine for a minute. Then you start talking about you know repenting. You start talking about the change that must needs be. Putting off that old man, turning away from this wicked world. Esau, the devil, the Bible that speaks, the Bible that the, uh, speak, the, the word speaks of, you know, that they, 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 they asked about to go into captivity, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be slaves, you know, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity, oh shit, no, some, some people, they might get offended, you know, shit, you ain't talking about my master like that, nigga, what's wrong with your ass, boy, don't you be talking about master like that, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> So they get the hell on. But that's all right because once again, this word is only for the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel who's going to hear these words, repent and be healed. Anybody got time for that? You know, and plus anyway, you how about Shema Shah the one that get the increase, bro? Yes. All praise to you, how about Shema Shah for that understanding right there. You know? We don't have to have no sleep this night, bro. You know, don't worry about these people. No. You just seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Just do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of that ministry. You know, if you love me, feed my sheep. Just, hey man, with truth and sincerity. You know, the seed is planted. Yeah, how about Shema Shah give the increase? Come on, let's go back to Proverbs chapter 1. 26. I also would laugh at your calamity. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Why? Do you, why do you think was happening with that? Uh, with that? With that Baltimore bridge collapse? And then there was a brother that brought out some information on that. He said a lot of those uh, people that actually died on that motherfucker was who? From the Northern Kingdom. If judgment must begin at us, it must begin at the house of Israel. You know, where shall this? You know that First Peter. I'm trying to quote that First Peter. It is time, judgment, it's time for judgment to begin. As it first began at us, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? First Peter chapter 4 verse 17, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Shai? And once again, con constantly breaking down these strongholds. There's a separation between all these other damn heathens and the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, who the world, who the word is actually written for and to. And I'll tell you about it in the book of James. To the twelve tribes scattered abroad. You know? But you got these damn Jehovah Witnesses and all these damn uh, denominations and all this bullshit worshiping some false god and false idol using our words, using our scriptures because they're some damn ultimate, ultimate culture vultures. You know, they stole every damn thing. Even a man and his heritage. Oh my God, I stole every damn thing. Even a man and his heritage. 
They're going to look at you like you're crazy. That stole everything. Even a man and his heritage. And then they're going to look at us like we crazy. And that's how the story goes, baby. That's, how, that's the beauty of it. For the missions of the kingdom are given to you, but it's to them and it's not given, bro. There you go. The Lord, the, you know, the scripture speaks about how the sinner is against the godly and the godly against the sinner. You know, you got two thirds out here that's taking the side of Esau and shit. That's still, no matter what you done told them, they still out here calling on JC. No matter what you done told them, they still in these temples made with hands, bro. What you think gonna happen to these motherfuckers? They're gonna get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We can't wait to see it. Because what do the scriptures say? We're going to, what uh, Proverbs chapter 126. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as destruction and your desolation cometh as the whirlwind. When the stress and anger is come upon you. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay? For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, how about you, Moshe? They hated knowledge. This hundred percent truth. You know they want to just sit around and talk about it all day long. But they hear the words, but they do them not. Want to just let's just talk about it. Mm, ah, yeah, that's your truth. Uh, I don't know because you know what? You know it's it's up to ultimately. Yeah, how about you, Moshe? Let the table become a snare. You know. No, 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 no. Yeah, the spirit is on us, bro. The Lord, he said, pray, hey, pray not for these people, my man. Don't worry about it. When that shit hit fan, that's when these proud motherfuckers gonna get, they gonna be in some serious freaking trouble. And we're praying not to be a part of that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about, bro? We're hoping to pray. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's time to get serious around here. I'm trying to button down the hatches over here. You know, so you be found without spot and blameless over here, bro. Mm. And of course, it's not of us. It's all about the mercy and the will of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, Shy baby. You hear me? It ain't, it ain't up. It ain't, it ain't up to us. But you know what? The scriptures say, "Be diligent to make your calling and election sure." The scriptures say, "Put on." As the election, that's why we went. That's why we did what we did this week. You know what I'm saying? That's why we enjoyed the the feast of unleavened bread all week long. The Passover, man, and we're thankful for this truth. We're thankful to come back to our true heritage and actually put on as the elect. We could be doing what the elect would probably be doing, bro, to the best of our abilities, rehearsing the righteous acts, not being all into thrall with this damn crazy ass place down here and all this bullshit that they're putting out here. Hell, so lucky man. If I'm, uh, I may sound a little rough or something. I don't know. The spirit, I guess. I don't know. I just know. You know, I'm just hoping to be covered by the blood of the Lamb, man. When this time, when this shit hit fan, you know, all next month. Cause now we're in, we're in the hopeful year, 2024. You know what I'm saying? The whole year of Jacob's trouble, baby? Come on, let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go back. I want to go back to Peter. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Shemashah. If it first began at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? What's going on about that business? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Nigga has some long-ass dreadlocks down the damn back, of course. You know? Not cited none at all the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai. They're still doing shit the way you want to do it. Talking about you serving just like the plantation Christians. You know, that's my God. Oh, my God wouldn't do that. Oh, my God loves me. He knows my heart. That's exactly what the man said. You know? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, whoa! you know? Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, bro? Okay? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh Shemashah commit, commit the keeping of their soul to him 
and well doing. What do do what? Well doing? What do you mean? I gotta do something? Yeah, be doers of the word, not hears only. Deceive your own self. It says. Hey. It says, wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh Shabbosha commit the keeping of their soul to him and well doing. As unto a faithful creator. That's right, man. So I want to go back over here to Proverbs. You know, to, to wrap that up. It says, Then shall they call on me call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. But wait a minute, the scriptures say that uh the Lord's gonna send forth his angels to gather his elect. You know what I'm talking about? He says, uh, because you've kept the word of my patience, I also shall keep you from the hour of temptation that shall come upon all the world to try him. You know what I'm saying? He said, hey, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So there's a separate, constantly, constant separation between those that serve the Lord and those that serve him not, bro. And there's only one way, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's only one way to do this. Ask for the old paths. Where's the good way? And walk therein. They said, we will not walk therein. Man, I don't know what you talking about, bro. We with Esau. We done made a covenant with death and hell over here, boy. Gee, our house is going to continue forever. We're trying to get that money. You yeah. know, that's all right. Because the Yahweh Shemasha has told us to make ourselves a living sacrifice. The Yahweh Shemasha told us to get our house in order, bro. The how Yahweh Hashem has given us this healthy fear. Knowing the terror of the Lord which persuade men. You know? The Yahweh Hashem has got us coming to Him and weeping with mourning with supplication, bro. Yeah. Yahweh Hashem chastises the shit out of our ass. You know, because if you be without chastisement, you're bastards and not sons, bro. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Hashad, and done did this for us. Feels good. There's a hope. There's a hope there, bro. Because the scripture speaks about, there's a scripture that speaks about uh, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love, roughly paraphrasing. Come on, let's finish this off. Proverbs 1 29 For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. There it is right there. Because the scripture say those that fear the Lord will want for no good thing. Let me, let me go get it, man. So I'm not paraphrasing all over the place all night long. You know. Beautiful right here. Uh, Psalms chapter 34 verse 7. It says, the angel of the Lord and kept around about them that fear him and delivered them. There's a payoff, bro. There's a payoff. I think some motherfucker, I think they're doing, they might be some, they got them damn Negroes down there running around, paying money and marching down the goddamn, marching around the damn thing for cancer again this night, I think. You know, one of those light of the night type <laughs> shits, you know? But see, we understand the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, the one that kill and make alive. We understand that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. You know, this damn devil, Esau, eat him. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. You know, because if the righteous are in authority, you know, uh, all these foods and shit that cause, that, that cause those diseases, you know, the wages of sin is death. What you think? I, hey, these motherfuckers promote death. Then they got you over here begging for a cure, but they, well, they uh, let's go to Mars. All oh, that damn shit. That's why the scripture say every hand of the wicked shall be upon them motherfuckers. Doing all this crazy ass shit, sending all this money over here, but your yo 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 auntie and your mama damn they over dying and shit, getting getting their titties and shit cut off all the damn time. Then they got you down here uh, trying to give you some false hope by you paying some money to march around 
you know, and getting sponsors and shit. Please help sponsor me. And I'm watching around for I would walk eight miles. Yeah, if you give me a hundred bucks, then I'll give it to them, and then they're gonna find the cure. Years and years and years and years of this shit. Yeah, what's what's the, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same shit, but expecting different results. And you know that's why we're so thankful that the Lord's called us out of darkness into this marvelous light, bro. Put the brakes on that shit. Put the brakes on that bullshit. This is the way. Walk you in it. Uh, what what else we got here? Ecclesiasticus, talking about the fear of the Lord. You know the benefits of it. Chapter two, verse fifteen. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. They and they that love him will keep his ways, bro. And there's a benefit for that. Benefit for that. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. These are the instructions of life. Ooh, let's click on this. Let's click on this, baby. Look. Hold on one second. Let's get down in this for a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Bam! That's what I'm talking about, man. You know, and we, you know, we're building up a tolerance to a certain degree to just you have that shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and all this shit, you know, that we come across this pride and arrogancy, you know, um, and be like, you know what, the Lord gonna get them motherfuckers. Just, you know, that's why the shepherd say, uh, envy not the oppressor and choose none of their ways. The shepherd tells us to, uh, there's a scripture, another scripture that talks about how the, the wicked are gonna get it. You know, uh, how does, I, I brought it up, I, I typed it in earlier today. Shoot, man. I can't think, I can't think of the way it goes, man. But it's, it's basically saying the wicked are going to get what they deserve soon. Something like that. Um, let me, I, I want to see if I can just try to type it in. Let me see. Hold on. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna see it because it brought up a lot of the things I typed in today. Um, I, I don't know. Let's just read this one real quick. Though hand join the hand, Proverbs chapter 11 verse 21. The wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seeds of the righteous shall be delivered. That's, that's beautiful right there. So though hand join in hand, those that made a covenant with death, those that love this kingdom so much that they want to, they don't want to arise in the part for this not to rest. They don't want to repent. They don't want to serve you. How about Shemashai? They, 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 they went with, with, with Esau over here. They, they're good. They, they're good to go with him. It says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So, you know, you're going to be looked at as a heathen. You're going to be punished with the heathen, number one. You know, like the scripture speaks about, uh, all those joined untogether with them shall be thrust through, right? We, Esau is going to get his. Two-thirds going to get theirs. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. That contrasts again, you know. And that's what we have this hope of. This this truth the Lord has blessed us with in these last days, brothers and sisters. This It's a true blessing, my man, to... Uh, for this, it's, a, it's a, like a... It's a constant, and we need it more than ever right now in these last days too, that, that, that constant push of faith to, to constantly exhorting, saying, don't worry. You know, of course, you know, it's going to get ugly, it's going to get bad, it's going to get scary, but that's what we're talking about right here. That's why this, this live camp is talking about divine intervention. You know, all the, the you know, as many strips as we can get, muster up, talking about how the Lord's going to deliver them. You know, like that Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Uh, let's go get it real quick since we're on the subject. 
And we gotta come back. We gotta close that. We gotta close up this Proverbs. Because even that proverb that we're reading right now speaks about uh, at the end of that. Here it is. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. What time? This time. The time of the end. You know? It's going to get so bad out here. The Lord says he's going to have to shorten the days. Or there's going to not be no flesh be saved. Because why? You got the Esau out here. The devil that the Bible speaks of. The sword of the Lord. Got it. Wop, wop. Coming down having great wrath. Trying to, trying to hold on to his wicked ass kingdom. No! I ain't going down without a fight, motherfucker. Y'all coming down with me. I'm killing all y'all niggas. You know, take this MRK. I am God. All this bullshit. <laughs> what the scripture say? The Lord shall laugh at him. Nah. Shit. You don't know who you're dealing with. The one true living God, the creator of all things, bro. The Lord got you in a trick bag in the first place. You know, but the Lord has blessed us with this 100% truth. To have the same mind, to be, to have the, to understand the game plan, to be inside the huddle. Okay? So where we at? Where we at? Where we at? And at that time shall Michael stand up. The archangel. And the, the great prince is standing up for the children of thy people. You know, the angel of the Lord and camp around there about them that, that trust, that fear him and deliver them, bro. He's going to stand up. The people, the, the standard, the prince that standeth up for thy, for thy children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. The time of this Jacob trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation. The brothers always make, make mention of the purge and how bad it was. You know, you can talk about the book of Eli. Uh, the road. How scarce it was and how cutthroat people was, man. Like them people. Um, it was... You know, driving around, they had the trucks. They were just running around scav scavenging everything they could get their hands on in the, in, the movie, in the movie The Road, right? That was a pretty good movie, man. I watched it like three times. And uh, so it was like 18 just nasty, funky-looking-ass crackers. It had some jakes in there, too, part of the party. And whatever they could get their hands on, they scavenge it, whatever they found. You know, they raped, robbed, and pillaged, and murdered every damn thing they could get their hands on. So when the man heard them coming, you know, he, him and his child hid behind the hill. And then there was one guy that came to take a piss. You know, he saw him down, he saw him down there while he was taking a piss. And the man drew a gun on him, told him, hey, you better not motherfucking move. Or I'm going to blow your brains out. You're just going to die right here. You know, nobody don't want to die. So he, he was quiet. Like he could have said, hey! But then he was going to die even though if the other guy's going to die. So, hey, some, most of the time, you'd be like, okay. Right? So, anyway, I can't remember exactly how it happened, but some kind of way, the man either tripped with the gun or the, the man was able to grab his child and hold him up in front of the gun or something like that or try to keep, take the child, and the man shot him and killed him. Then he had to grab the child and run and hide. So, he ran off. Hey, the, he ran, see, yeah, she got one of them shirts on, light up the night, right? So, um, the man ran, and the, uh, he ran with the child, they hid, because when, the, when, they heard the, when they heard the gunshots, you know, they, they, uh, they, uh, come, of course, to see what the fuck going on, and to see what they could scavenge, you know? So, the, the, the dude hid with the child for, like, a long time. And he finally came back around because they had to leave their shopping cart with all their stuff. And he came back to scavenge what he could, what the people did not take. But when he got back to the place where they were gone, they were, they were all gone now. They had, the man that he had shot, they had gutted his ass and took him. They're going to they're gonna eat him. Cannibals, you know. And Shriver speaks about that cannibalism in these last days. And they, I guess they probably took a little bit of stuff of what the people had left, the books. You know, he had some books and some, the child's toys and stuff. They went through all that shit and got the good, the stuff that they thought they needed out of that thing. And that's how bad it's going to be. Like in the book of Eli. You know, a, a little simple, the things that we take, you know, throwing in the trash like this bottle. Water bottle and stuff, plastic bottles. Um, like the scripture speaks about how the whole land's going to be desolate. Uh, but, you know, we see through... Right now, we, we see through, uh, how the strippers go, we see through, have, have, let me go get the strippers so I'm not just talking. All right. We see through, uh, have empty, let me see how it goes. 
let me see we see through the glass darkly Salaki sorry I was distracted by this this this, this damn knucklehead ass Jake I don't like no goofy looking ass Jake's man it's just that's damn stupid and shit you know they stare you down but they ain't got no motherfucking manners to speak first. You always gotta speak first, but even though they stare you down. I know we made a spectacle and shit, but goddamn, nigga, if you're gonna stare at somebody more than damn five or ten seconds, at least say, when they give you the eye contact back, at least say, hey, what's up, bro? Something. Yeah, what goddamn dumbfounded looking ass motherfuckers. Now, I told y'all, light up the night down there. That was one of them, you saw that lady walk up here? She one of them motherfuckers that got the. They give you a little funky ass t-shirt. Now you feel like you done did something. I've done something for the world. For this wicked ass kingdom. But you, at the same time, you damn, uh, damn motherfucking politicians and the damn the rulers of this wicked world don't give a damn about you. And they, they got your ass you know, in, dark, in gross darkness the people because they got the light, the Illuminati, you know. And they just running you around, you know. Just uh, making your life miserable, bro. Death. Hell taking peace from the earth. Esau Edom, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So let's get this see through a glass darkly. You know, we're bringing this up because of the, uh, we you know, trying to uh, filter the, the scriptures through those movies, the road, and uh, all those things that we were talking about. For now, we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but when, but then shall I know even as I also I am known. Right, so we can see, right now we see through a glass dark, through, uh, through the spirit scriptures, through the spirit of the power of Yahweh looking at things through spiritual lenses. But when the implementation of the MERK come, when these uh, 15 minute cities come, and all everything outside the 15 minute cities, you know, are, are not under protection of so called the devil, you know, not under protection of, you know, uh, we got you, we got you, even though know, we know where you are, you know, because we got the MERK, the CHIP in you. Everybody that's in here, they're under surveillance. Everybody that's in this 15-minute city or under this this jurisdiction right here, you know, we're watching them. They can't get out of line. You know, if, if they fucking fuck up or do something that we don't like, we gotta fucking kill them or whatever. So, but outside of that, you know, like you've seen in those in these uh these movies about the future, what do they call them? Dystopian movies, um, or utopia, should we say? Like uh, Elysium, Mad Max, uh, like we talking about the road, but even that, even in the road, there was I didn't see any sanctuary cities or something, nothing like that. They they were supposed to be going to some beach or somewhere. Civilization was being rebuilt. I'm not sure. You know, the child went down there. He met his family or something. But you know, even like even in the movies, uh, Planet of the Apes. You know, they have these little and. Uh, I'm talking too much, right, bro? So like, even in the movies like um, The Walking Dead, you know, people coming together and trying to make a rebuild civilization a little bit in another town or whatever. So you're gonna have the, you know, come come to this concentration camp or something. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna give you the MARK and CHIP and all that stuff. And you know, people are gonna still try to cripple on with life. People are gonna be in their bunkers. But then you're going to have this desolate place out here where people are killing each other and robbing each other and, and just cutthroat and the time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be bad, man. You know, unless you want to be, don't take the M-A-R-K to C-H-F-A and bow down to the to the image and taking this M-A-R-K. The scripture even speaks about then those that consent with them will be had in derision. Not, nobody's going to be safe except for the elect, bro. It's going to be, woo, it's going to be terrible. But anyway... What was the point I was trying to make, bro? That this is it. Oh, right here. We was reading that Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Night. Yeah, but, we, you know, we're talking about, um, oh, the road. I was talking about the road, too, you know, because uh, I wanted to bring up another point. Because there was another scene. Oh, that was another scene in the road, too, where they, they stumble, stumble across this house. You know, they stumbled across this house, bro, and nobody was there. It seemed so like nobody was there. So they went inside this house looking for shit. 
you know they went inside this house looking for shit man Jake I don't like I'm man Jake get on my goddamn nerves I hate a motherfucker I don't know I just don't like motherfuckers that act like they ain't got no goddamn home training I don't know it's, I don't know why that shit bothers me a lot bro. motherfucker Look at you and turn your head and shit. Don't speak like some it was such fucking effeminate looking ass motherfucker with long hair and shit. You motherfuckers. Cause you that's like Esau. That's like Esau shit, man. I hate that shit. I'm just thankful for for who I am, man. Through the spirit of power, you have about shot. The spirit of the Lord God I mean. To be polite and kind and you no know, peaceful among all men and civilized, man. Goddamn ninjas. That's what it really is. Civilized. With the understanding of the truth, you know. But anyway. Yeah, because these motherfuckers act like brute beasts. But anyway. um, So they went inside this house. The, the man and the little boy. Y'all seen it. And they they looking around for stuff. He found a, a, a cellar that was locked up. So he's probably thinking all oh, this good stuff down there, goddammit. Cause they got lots on this shit, you know. Cause everybody, they all looking for food at the end of the day, you know, food, clothes, and shelter. But you can, you can get, you can make a shelter almost anywhere, you know. They, you know, these stinking ass motherfuckers wore the same clothes for for a long time, you know. Didn't hardly bathe or nothing like that, cause you're on the run, you know. Pilgrims upon the earth. So anyway, he broke into the cellar. They went down there. And down there, bro, was uh, all these people that the, the owners of the house, these travelers that probably came through, they probably, uh, just like in the book of Eli, like those that, that woman and man, you come by their house, they're going to eventually make you feel comfortable, make you feel like you're safe for a while, and then they're going to kill you and eat you. So they had a lot of people downstairs. And they were keeping them alive slowly because they, they didn't look very healthy at all. Some of them had one, had, they had one of their arms had been chopped off and they had eight the people that ate their arm. One of them, some of them had, didn't have no damn legs. They had chopped the leg off and they ate the leg and people still alive. So just imagine how bad it's going to be during this time of Jacob's trouble because the stripper speed, that's why I'm speaking about these things. Because the, the word of Yahweh Shema Shah says it's going to be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time okay if we look back in history you got the uh, there's a place called in the south what was it called orange the orange bowl let me see if I can look it up yeah cuz when the truth speaks about how knowledge is gonna be increased People gonna run to and fro and now it's gonna be increased, you know, with this understanding, with this technology right here, bro. We can type in stuff in the south. Orange bowl. Death of slaves. In mass number. I don't know if that's the right orange bowl is the right one. Let me see what it says. Okay, it's called the Devil's Punch Bowl. See, I see the Devil's Punch Bowl, and it was a uh, look Mississippi, a Mississippi story. Okay. It says the Devil's Punch Bowl episode is remembered. They call it an episode? Was it like a TV show or something, motherfucker? Goddamn crackers. You know, and then, then they got this thing called critical race theory where they're trying to cover up all these atrocities and stuff, bro. It says the Devil's Punch Bowl episode is remembered on this date in 1865, the post American Civil War episode in black history. You know? It, History occurred in Naz Nasjack Adams County, Mississippi, as black slaves made their way to freedom. The town of Nasjack quickly went from a population of 10,000 to nearly 100,000 people. To deal with the population influx of recent freed freedmen, a con concentration camp 
was established by Union soldiers to eradicate the slaves, essentially. See? A damn concentration camp. Now, the, the scripture tells us in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1, And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never since there was a nation, even to the same time. So, Jacob's trouble is going to be worse than all these things, bro. Or it's going to entail a lot of these things happening all at one time. That's why we're always talking about martial law, concentration camps, you know, teeth of wild beasts, uh, famine of food, okay? That's why you hear is constantly speaking about, Lord willing, we're covered by the blood of the Lamb. Lord willing, we're part of that number that's destined for salvation, bro, to be covered by the blood of the Lamb, to have protection of Yahweh Shemashah, to have this divine intervention. Because, you know, ultimately, it's the Lord that's bringing up all this, this death and destruction upon the earth. I kill and I make a lie. This time of the Lord's judgment, bro. You think it's a joke? It says, to deal with the population influx of recent freedmen, a concentration camp was established by Union soldiers to eradicate the slaves, essentially. Don Estes, former director of the Nasdaq City, City Cemeteries, said, so, that, so they decided to build an encampment for M at Devil's Punch Bowl, which they walled off and wouldn't let them out. So they, they put them all in this concentration camp, then they closed, the, they built these walls so they can so the, the slaves couldn't get out. So Jake couldn't get out. The camp was called the Devil's Punch Bowl because of how the area was shaped. The camp was at the bottom of a hollow pit and trees on the bluffs above. The women and children were, were, locked, were, were locked behind the cousin concrete walls of the camp and left to die from, from starvation, see? Many also died from the smallpox disease. Over 200,000 freed slaves were killed in one year in this American concentration camp. Black men were recaptured by the Union troops and forced back into hard labor, okay? See, back then, you know, and also this is probably the place where they started to eat each other and shit because they were down there starving to death. You know what I'm saying? The scripture even speaks about how, you know, people are going to be eating themselves in the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, so, it's such as never was since there was a nation, even the same time, and at that time, here's the point. Here's the point right here, bro. Talking about some divine intervention. It says, and at that time, when all hell breaking loose, when all these things are happening on the earth, this great judgment, this great death. Okay? Teeth of wild beasts, concentration camp, martial law, sedition among men. Okay? Uh, people breaking into each other's home for lack of bread, debating one another. Uh, the implementation of the MARK, World War III, all these things happening. And at that, and at that time, thy people, wait, that, it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right, at that time, thy people shall be delivered. That's what we're talking about right there. We got to go through it to get to it. At that time, thy people shall be delivered, brothers and sisters, man. That's what we're talking about over here. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah, man. At that time, thy people shall be delivered. So let's go back to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 30. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Right. Because this is that time. To seek the Lord while he may be found. To call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and an unrighteous man his thoughts. You know? The scripture speaks about how the Lord shall have mercy on him. Let's go get that scripture. Let's get the one in uh, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the one true living God. How about you, my child? Right, at least you repent. Luke chapter 13, verse 1. You shall all likewise perish. 
and he will have mercy upon him. Right. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Right. He's going to pardon you, man. That's what, what you think going on around here. Shoot. Going back to Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 30, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall, okay, okay. See, now this, the, the consequences of it right here. And I, you know what I like? I love Proverbs chapter 1 because it's a build up. It's like, okay, you know, hey, this word, this gospel being preached on the fork on the earth, hey, we done told you, we cried aloud, we spared not, we, we, we compelled them to come in. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we try to persuade men. Hey, they're trying to tell you that we're the Israelites, bro. Maybe one of the things, the best thing you should ever done here, heard, bro. Wait, but once again, uh, John chapter three, verse nineteen. You know, this is the this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. You rather do some wicked ass shit, so you gotta pay for your motherfucking shit, huh? The wages of sin is death. Stay your stinking ass out there and get fucked up. And you gotta, hey, let's, we, we gotta get, we're about to read it right now. It says, therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way. That's right. You know, go and cry to the gods that you have served. As for me and my house, we're going to serve you by Shema Shah because there's benefits that come with it. There's protection that comes with it. There's hope of salvation, knowing that he is that comes with it. The creator of all things, knowing that he declared the end from the beginning. It says, Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And then the, then the, then the last scripture of verse 1, verse 33, the angel number, the message. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely. You know, plain, simple. Sweet, nice, gentle. You know, hey, it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Fear not, thy worm, Jacob. You have come. You're not gonna, you're gonna fear for no good thing. You're not gonna want for no good thing. You know, I'm gonna feed you. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hey. Fear not. Stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh Shemashah. Yeah. Of course you're gonna you're in the flesh, you're gonna be scared shitless. But don't worry. I'm gonna help thee, yay. I'm gonna strengthen thee, yay. You know? But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil, bro. Plain and simple. Who shall ever hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Are we not? Hearkening to the one true living God. Do we not tune in to the elders, apostle, great millstone, and all the brothers on that umbrella, bro, when we get a chance, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemash, to the best of our abilities, with sincerity and truth? You know, whenever we can. Not perfect, but we, we seek the Lord's face. We wake up, you know, and see what's the word of the Lord. We're not, we're not going there like the others go there, you know, that speak against the word. No, we're with the Lord. We want to know. Are we not applying the words to our life to the best of our abilities, bro? Living these scriptures like the epistle we brought out the other day through the Spirit of the Power, Yahweh Have we not turned away from this wicked world as commanded, bro? Do we not know who our enemies are? And we're not trusting them motherfuckers like the scripture tells us not to do? Do we not love our brothers, our sisters, those that do the will of Yahweh Huh? Do we not love our, our, our neighbor as ourselves? You know, our true neighbors, bro. You know, not just any goddamn nigga out here, any heathen nation, nobody. No. Who are your neighbors? The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Your brothers and sisters, bro. Hell, yeah, this truth is being declared now right here, bro. Ain't no bullshit going on around this motherfucker. Oh, and then also the brothers going back to GMS uh, Feed the Flock, they had the, they broke it down to the guy. Because he's like, who you said a curse word? You know. But wait a minute, I thought you said that you see, but that Proverbs, you know, like the Shiva speaks about. The word is the Lord is a two-edged sword, discerning, you know, the heart and, and mind of the other people, you know, roughly paraphrasing. 
It's a discerner of the heart and mind. Good night, y'all. See? You see that? You see that? They're able to walk and walk around, little people, but they have no goddamn manners to even speak back. You know what I'm talking about? What what the scripture speaks about how they were born in vain? Born in vain, baby. But let my great be kept. That's what we're talking about over here. She said, good luck with that. That's an Edomite woman. We're going to see her ass in chains in the kingdom of heaven. You know? Good luck with that. Hey, shut the fuck up. I'm not talking to you, I ass. Come on, y'all. Let's go back to that fear. I wanted to read some of those scriptures about the fear of the Lord. It says Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 and the fear not them it says fear not them which kill the body right because you know there's no there's no fear in love of how about Shema Shah because we understand the Lord has given us a lowdown baby you know you can do nothing against me unless it was given to you from your how about Shema Shah from heaven you know because the scriptures already the scriptures already written you know declared the end from the beginning so we understand hey, if, if there's a beheading that's gonna be happening it's of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. You know, if we made a martyr to the Lord, the Lord said, even, hey, he even tells us, hey, fear none of those things that thou shalt suffer. The devil's gonna cast some of you into prison. Boy, talking about the talking about the inside scoop, talking about the lowdown right here. We don't have to fear. And this is the buildup of that faith. And you know what else? Somebody, one of the brothers said it today. I don't know who's, I can't remember who said it. It, it was a feed the flock of them. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not speaking to nobody the rest of the night. Fuck y'all. Y'all speak to me first, goddammit. I ain't saying no more. I ain't saying nothing now. Hey. That damn rude ass motherfuckers. But wait, what, you know, like the shit was saying, hey, they're gonna, they received their consolation. They're gonna get all these proud ass niggas. They're gonna get theirs, bro. Not that I'm, I, I, I'm nobody. I'm not asking for that thing. You know? Am I being too sensitive? I just long for righteousness, man. I just long for peace. I'm waiting. We waiting on the kingdom of heaven to come, bro. We, I, I like. I love being holy and separate. You know, I don't like it out here, man. In this wicked ass world, I don't like it, man. It, it sucks out here. These people, these heathens, should I say? Uh, this is the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. Fear none of those things. Once again, fear not. We, we should fear yet. We fear in Yahweh Shema Shai, bro. But all these other stuff, all these other stuff. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried. Right, it's a test. What you going to do? Do you really trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai? Do you understand? You know, your forefathers went through it. The Lord delivered them out of all out of all their trouble. Huh? That you may be tried. And you shall have tribulations ten days. You're gonna have trouble for a time. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Hey. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Plain. And you know. You know, see, see that, and now that's the that's the uh, good news. That's the that's the inspiration. That's the uh, the guidelines to overcome. You know, looking at Yahusha, the author and the finish of our faith. I'm about my father's business. No, no, my bro. We boy. The Lord has given us this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, bro. He's called us out of darkness into this marvelous light, my man. The Lord did not call us for our destruction. What's that? Uh, first Thess chapter 5 verse 9. You know why everybody else running around here? You know, being proud, thinking they somebody. Mm -mm. First Thess 5 and 9. For Yahweh Shemashah has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shemashah. 
We believe. We believe in Yahusha. We believe in his words. We believe his prophets. Them knucklehead snot nose damn children. Baby's kids. Yeah, she looking at. Oh we yeah. We're going back over here. I think we was on Matthew. Matthew 10, 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. That's right, man. Fear you have about shot, bro. Let him be your dread. You know, that's why, you know, to the best of our ability, we're rehearsing righteous actions, trying to do things to please the Lord. So shall we can find favor and good understanding in the sight of you. How about Shema Shah in the sight of man, bro? It's all right here for us. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes in the Bible. Chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Shemasha and keep his what? Commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is it. Because when the Lord come back, what is he going to do? He's going to put the commandments in our inward parts. In the way. Wow, we were rehearsing righteous acts, bro. Because he's the key script. I want it this way. I want y'all to do it. This is what I want you to do. This is how I want you to live. This, this way. I want you to think this way. Use minds. You know? Now we get it. We get it now. That humbling, that submitting to your how about Shima Shah, bro. You know? Now it makes sense. And the reward of doing that. Then you have whatever you want. What, before I call, before you call our answer. Your heart's desire. Eyes they have not seen nor ear heard all the wonderful things. Life, bro, not death. Immortality. In my father's house, many mansions. Power. Gods upon earth. Get the heathen as an inheritance. The joy of the children. The downfall of our enemies, brothers and sisters. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, baby. The kingdom is within us. Huh? Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it's a man, he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. it took a long time. It took a lot of chastisement. Took a lot of beat down. Took a lot of pain and heart. You still, you still in the flesh. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, bro. Fighting the good fight of faith, trying to lay hold on eternal life right here, bro. Condemning this wicked ass motherfucking world. Who cares if some love if they don't believe it? We don't care. You believe it, don't you, brothers and sisters? Psalms chapter 38, 33, verse 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. That's right, man. What's the, what does the scripture say? Let, let, me, let everything that has breath praise you. Because the Lord has given us the mindset to understand and know him. Nobody else knows the Lord, bro. Do you know that? But ye know him, for he'll be in you. He'll be with you and in you, like the scripture say. You know? Even the spirit of truth. He'll be in you, you know. Nobody else knows the one true living God, bro. What's Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23? You know? Let not the man, the rich man boast in his riches. Let not the mighty man, roughly paraphrasing, let not the mighty man boast in his might. But let him that boast, boast in this that he understandeth and knoweth me. Boy. The water you have about Shemashah. Man, I, I didn't know, man. Brothers and sisters, I didn't know what really what we're going to be talking about tonight at all. I just asked, you know, to, to you know, to receive the spirit to, to be able to to bring it out to to do the work. 
And the Lord willing, it's coming out okay, you know. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is that that the spirit. I feel the spirit, man. Feel it. Like a um, like a, a reassurance of everything gonna be okay. Like, cause it's the Lord's will. We're speaking the Lord's words. The spirit of prophecy right here, bro. And we're not just speaking it. We're hastening the day. Hoping. Nice. We is hoping. Nice over here, bro. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah. It says, uh, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 27. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is the fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Whew. Let's read that one more time. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, Proverbs 14, 27, is a fountain of life. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know? Be like a tree planted by the water, bro. Will not see when the heat come. To depart from the snares of death. To depart from the snares of death. Eternal life. The Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life. Roughly paraphrase. And it begins now. With this 100% truth. Deuteronomy chapter 12, 10 verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? I remember when I first read this scripture. I was like, ooh, you know, I got to highlight that one. It's like, what else do you, uh, you know, like so many times, how many times does the Lord have to tell you? You know, oh, happy Israel for the things that are pleasing to the Lord. Yahweh Shabbat are made known to us. This is one of them. Let's see what it says. It says, and now Israel. Who? Wait a minute. And now, let's break down another stronghold. Blah! Are you talking about to the whole world? All these other nations and shit? No. Israel. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord. That's right. That healthy fear, bro. These niggas ain't scared of nothing. They got shirts on saying, no fear. Because Esau, they fall on Esau. But they scared of Esau ass, ain't they? Huh? But the Lord's blessed us with this healthy fear. He's blessed us with the gift of faith. To know that he is. That he put us in the transatlantic slave trade. He sent these damn devils upon us. These, these wicked devils. You know, that's why the strippers say, fear not them. They, that's my sword. Don't fear. They don't have to worry about them. That can destroy the body. No, don't worry about that because if they destroy your body, I'm the one that told them to destroy it. I'm the one that let them do it. You know? But to fear the Lord, the Yahweh Shemashah, to walk in His ways. Oh yeah, you have you learned now? To walk in His ways? Because, remember, the reason why we're in the predicament anyway is because we did not serve the Lord with the joy and the gladness of our heart. We want to serve these other gods. We want to be as the heathens and all these other nations. To walk in all his ways and to what? Love him. If you love me, keep my commandments. This is one commandment not grievous. But they're good. They're going to be good for you. They're good for you. Make you feel good. Make you do the right thing. You're going to have everlasting. You're going to have everlasting. They're going to lead to life. You know, but the wages of sin is death. Choose the life. Elder, uh, Elder Malcolm brought that. Uh, Salaki Elder Yashua brought that out this week. It says... And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Just that's and that's what we find ourselves at right here in the last days, right here. We've 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 made ourselves a living sacrifice. We turn away from this wicked ass world. We understand where there's no vision the people perish. You know, we are we stacking up our riches in heaven, bro. We we're right there. We, done, we all in. The chips in. All the chips in there. You know? We ain't got nothing else. What we, whatever we got, we got it. They ain't gonna take that. Everything. You know what I'm talking about? Nice. And it, it feels good, bro. It feels good, man.
to not be a part of this damn world, to not be confused. You know what I'm saying? To know. And knowing is half the battle, like G.I. Joe always say. To know you have Bashar Mashah. To trust in his word. To have full confidence in what's written, bro. Feels good. To know who your enemy is, and that this motherfucker going down, all this shit you done did you, you're not gonna get away with it. Woo hoo hoo hoo! And we're yet this day in our captivity too? Shit! Well, you done turned shit upside down, Esau? Got the women out here uh, acting like fucking niggas and shit with this rap music. Motherfucker, <laughs> letting them put tattoos all on their goddamn face and shit, running around like hoes and shit. Breaking up the household, your ass fucking goddamn gonna get it, nigga. Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord down by Shabbat Shah is the beginning of wisdom, and a good understanding have all they that do his commands, co commandments, his praise endure forever. Psalms 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord, the Abba Shabbat Shah, is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Verse, uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Over and over again, bro. Over and over again, bro. Psalms 86, verse 11. Teach me thy way, O Lord, Yahweh Shemesh. I will walk in thy truth. Unite me. Unite my heart to fear thy name. That's right. Luke chapter 150. His mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Right, this... You know, that's that um, predestination, bro. That's that that's that predestination. Like the scripture speaks about how the uh, how birds will resort to their like, so does wisdom return to those that practice in her. You know, practice it in something sent true. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with my right hand of my righteousness, bro. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. The fear of the Lord, the Abba Shemasha, tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. The Wadi Habashimashai. Philippians chapter 2 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye has always obeyed, not more not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. That's right, bro. You know what to do. Why? Because the Lord has blessed you, bless us. Oh happy Israel, are we? For the things that are pleasing to you, how about Shemashah made known to us, bro? And that's it, man. I'm gonna I wanna read that Isaiah. We're gonna close it out with that. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, because we're talking about divine intervention here. We're talking about having full confidence in you, how about Shemashah in these last days, and actually understanding what what we're about, what's about to happen. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know, uh, just constantly looking at it head on. You know? Looking at it head on, bro, with not no goddamn sweet, goddamn what do you call them, them damn uh, sugar coating shit. No, motherfucker, the, the scripture speaks about how the slain of the Lord shall be many from one end of the earth even to the other. Okay, like a wave to a drop. But that's why we praying. You know, that's why we begging, bro. That's why we're thankful to be have called out of that darkness to this tomorrow's life and not be a part of this, this, this fucking wicked ass shit and be out here in the valley of the shadow of death and not even know what the fuck going on around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm speaking a little bit of uh, what do I call them? Uh, those words that everybody think is, you know, Just tired, bro. We worn out. We is worn out. Like I said, we ready to go home, bro. We're gonna read Isaiah 41 one more time, verse 10. Fear 
thou not. Okay? For I am with thee. Who's who's with us? Yeah, how about Hashem El Shai, bro? The creator. They try to keep the Lord away from us, bro. They try to give us this false God. Look. You think it's a joke? They try to give us this damn cracker to worship. Huh? This false god and false idol right here. This is your god. And he loves everybody. Y'all just a y'all just a y'all just somebody at the bottom of the chain. Just like you bottom in this society, you bottom when it comes to him too. You're, you're Gentiles, you're heathens. Yeah? But no, we are the Lord's chosen people, bro. The Lord's about to come back and deliver us out of their hands. It says, Fear thou not. The Lord's given us the, the inside scoop. The books are open. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Right? I'm your God. You, you know, Joel chapter 2, verse 27. You should know that I'm in the midst of who? The midst of Israel. And I'm the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. We're, we don't have to be ashamed of this 100% truth. We don't have to be ashamed that the Lord is for us and not for the whole world like we've been lied to up in here. Why they keep your ass down at the bottom of society and shit. Huh? It says, Fear thou not, I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, bro. Strip speaks about how the Lord, when the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord gonna lift up a standard, bro. And I'm going to start praying for spiritual things. I'm going to start praying to the Lord Yahweh Shemash for those spiritual powers. I want to, I would like that, I would like that, I would like that, man. I really would. I ain't lying, bro. You know, we're, we're not being carnal or nothing because, you know, we're talking about, hey, His will be done. And it's only if His will. But I, you know, He say, pray with all kind of prayer. You know, all kind of prayer. Pray all kinds. Of God, pray, just pray. Pray without ceasing. You know, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Pray to be protected. Pray to pray to be delivered. Pray for I'm praying for spiritual powers too, bro. Praying for them crowns. Praying for everything. Praying for the downfall of my enemies. You know, all praise to you, have my shy man. Praying for the brothers and sisters out there. Hey, praying for the Lord to hasten the day. Get the hell up out of here, bro. But wait, be anxious for nothing. We're gonna enjoy it too, of course. But like I said, we're just coming out of the. The, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. You know, we got to continue on in this wicked-ass world. You know, uh, things are moving. We're just hoping, bro. Can't wait to go home, man. That's all. Can't wait for some shit to happen. But it's happening now all around us, you know. So, we're not going to drag it out no more, man. So, Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting. Lord willing, nobody was offended with all the, all the uh, flavor words, should I say? I don't know. But anyway, this is only for the elect, and brother, my brothers and sisters gonna understand, bro. So with that, I wanna give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikakwidash. Wanna give double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel, pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever it goes. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Yeah, it's probably because of that, that damn stupid ass Easter and shit coming up, all this. All this de demonic spirit and shit out here. That's probably why I'm more damn agitated more than, you know. Shoot. <laughs> Shout out to brothers and sisters.